Hey guys, it's Peter and Mary, and welcome to the Living with Hope podcast, a weekly conversation where we dig into God's Word and explore what it means to live with hope in Jesus. We wanted to come just sit down with you and say, hey, if you are feeling weary today or feeling overwhelmed, oh, that was me a few days ago. We just wanted to take a few minutes to help ourselves be grounded in God's word yeah. and the truth of God's word so that we, us and you can take the next step. You know that like Nintendo Wii system that came out years ago and you have a wand and you move around. This was controller. I, yeah, a controller that it would track your movements. Obviously, we have way better technology yeah. now. But this was back in my childhood when we came out, and you'd be playing this game where it's tracking your movements, and every once in a while, after you play a few matches or whatever, you're playing tennis or whatever, it would tell you your controller needs to recalibrate. And it would tell you to lay the controller on the table, face down, and let it resync with the system. Mm. And I hope that that is what we can do here this morning, is recalibrate our hearts. Because we know we need it Yeah. on the daily. We've talked about that when we talked about 2 Corinthians 4 how we are outwardly wasting away, but inwardly we're renewed, what? Day by day. And this is a daily recalibration. So, Mary, what do you do to recalibrate when, like this week, feeling overwhelmed by all the details of life and your heart is racing and... Yeah. I mean, part of it is... uh there is a um an aspect of self control where you sit and you breathe mm-hmm. and you try to it's like your heart knows the truth i will get through this week but then your mind is saying but you have all of these stressful things but 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 and you kind of have to be like brain we're going to get through this um One thing that helps me is having a Bible study that I'm reading. And I've talked about the Bible app. It's a free Bible app, and they have tons of free Bible studies on there. And I love that some of them are categorized anxiety. Um, I mean, some of them are more specific, like anxiety when you have a big decision to make or something like this and you can look Mm -hmm. for different topics and so one thing that I can do is put pause on the brain uh chaos take a few minutes open that app and read the next day of the bible study which gets me into the word so there's a study portion and then a scripture portion that um it encourages you to read through And one of the passages that I was reading this week was Psalm 91. He who dwells, or he or she, the person, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, and reminding my brain of that reality. He is my refuge, my mm-hmm. God in whom I trust. And then that self-control piece takes the chaos and tries to kind of calm it down a little and then take the next step. Or maybe it means writing a list. Or maybe it means talking to a friend who can help you like, Mm. hey, it's just the next step. One thing at a time. And reminding your heart of the truth. He is our refuge. So good. And I love that picture of when there's storms around you and it's chaos around. And there's a place that you can go for shelter. Mm -hmm. 
where there is a stillness, a recalibration, a refocusing on the ultimates and putting the less than ultimate things in their place. And as we find our shelter, and this is obviously a metaphor for coming to Jesus in faith and saying, I don't have the capacity of myself to find peace. And I know that you are my peace. You Mm -hmm. are my shelter. And one of the things I love is at the end of Psalm 91, verse 14, it says, because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. And this is the Lord speaking to you that he is with you. And that promise that we see repeated by Jesus in the New Testament, behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, is this promise that peace isn't found in the circumstances of our lives. It's found in a person who promises us his presence. And that reality just recalibrates our hearts, focuses our minds, and allows us to find rest when everything within us is so unrestful. And so I hope this can be an encouragement to you. We just wanted to have a short podcast this morning to really let our hearts recalibrate because in many ways Mary and I need we've had a busy week and there's a lot on our minds and we want to find our shelter in the most high and abide in the shadow of the almighty and that's our prayer for you as well